हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट सब्जेक्ट ग्राउंड वॉटर एंड हाइड्रोलिक्स सेवेंटीन सी वी फो सेवन फोर्टी टू इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द वर्टिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ग्राउंड वॉटर दैट इज द ग्राउंड वॉटर ऑकर्स इन two zones mainly the zone of aeration at the top and at the bottom the zone of saturation and in that we have seen uh, how the vertical distribution of ground water uh, occurs now we'll in today's class we'll discuss what are aquifers different types of aquifers so aquifer it is uh, in the figure you can see there is a ground water shown so aquifer it is a word uh, which is derived from latin word the meaning of this is the water bearer water bearer means which holds the water which holds the water that is called as the water bearer so here you can see the aquifer means uh the permeable or uh, the strata which uh, which holds water or which is capable of yielding sufficient quantity of water that is called as the aquifer okay so how you will define aquifer is the an aquifer is a large body of permeable material where the ground water is present in the saturated zone so yesterday we had discussed what is saturated zone or zone of saturation so that is the zone which is present here that is called as zone of saturation so whatever water water is available uh, in the uh, saturated zone that we call it as ground water so what is an aquifer is the aquifer is a large body of permeable material where the ground water is present in the saturated zone that is called as an aquifer next uh, it is a geological formation that is water bearing or it is saturated with the water and which is capable of yielding sufficient quantity of water for exploitation so whenever you want to extract the ground water the aquifer if it is an aquifer it will yield sufficient quantity of water when you uh start the extraction of water so that is called as an aquifer it is a geological formation that is water bearing means the it there is a water present in it or you can call it as a it is saturated with water and it should be uh, capable of yielding sufficient quantity of water for exploitation so this aquifer serves as a transition transmission conduit from the storage reservoir means it acts as a transmission conduit or a way where from which the uh, water transmit from the storage reservoir to the underground so uh, it uh, transports the water from recharge area to the surface bodies of water and other collecting devices so here uh, there is a transmission of water there is a continuous flow of ground water so what are good aquifers are the good aquifers are those with high permeability such as poorly cemented sand gravels and sandstones or highly fractured rocks these are all the examples for good aquifers so why they called as good aquifers 
as i as i told you the definition it should hold the water water should be present in it then only we call it as a aquifer so good aquifers with high permeability which has high permeability means it it will have the ability to hold the water as well as to transmit the water that is called as permeability such as poorly cemented sand sand is a uh, little uh, sand but it should be poorly cemented cemented means the pores get filled but if it is poorly cemented the there will be pores present in it or the gravel the size of the gravel is bigger right and sandstones they are also uh, made up of sand or highly fractured rock so if there are cracks or fractures present in the rock such rocks like basalts with joints or granites with joints they also serve as a good aquifers so these are all the examples for aquifers then uh, the large aquifers can be excellent source of water for human usage like uh, big aquifers or large aquifers they will uh, yield the yield will be more in such aquifers so uh, these aquifer they yield good amount of water good quantity of water so these are the excellent sources of water for human usage next we'll see what are the types of aquifers so there are mainly two types of aquifers one is unconfined aquifer and other one is confined aquifer so there are two types of aquifers one is unconfined and other one is confined aquifer so there is one more type under unconfined that is called as perched aquifer and one more type of confined aquifer is artesian aquifer so confined and unconfined these are the two main types of aquifers and perched aquifer is a type of unconfined aquifer and artesian aquifer is a confined aquifer so we'll see in detail one by one so first let us understand what is confined aquifer so confined uh, sorry unconfined aquifer so unconfined means there is no pressure on the water so if the aquifer is exposed to the atmosphere you can see in the figure right the water which is present here in the aquifer that is open to the atmosphere or free to the atmosphere then it is called as the here you can see this portion there is no confining layer on the top right it is open to the atmosphere so it is called as confined aquifer sorry unconfined aquifer so if the aquifer is exposed to the atmosphere or it possesses a free surface which is open to the atmosphere then it is termed as unconfined aquifer there is no confining pressure so it is called as unconfined open to the atmosphere or exposed to the atmosphere such sir, uh, aquifer is called as unconfined aquifer so in unconfined aquifer there will be a water table in an unconfined aquifer there will be a water table present in it so you can see the top layer where the water is present right so here <coughs> so this is the top layer that is called as the water table so in an unconfined aquifer there will be water table so it is sometimes called as water table aquifer why it is called as water table aquifer is there is a water table present in unconfined aquifer so sometimes it is called as water table aquifer there is one more term called phreatic aquifer 
so the term phreatic aquifer is also frequently applied to denote the unconfined aquifer because it occurs in the phreatic zone so the water which is present here that is in the phreatic zone so it is called as phreatic aquifer also then the unconfined aquifers usually they receive a uh, recharge water directly from the surface okay because it is open to the atmosphere very near to the surface whatever water it is uh, coming into uh, the unconfined aquifer that is all fr derived from the surface water uh, that is from the precipitation or from a body of surface water that is it may be a river or a stream or a lake so all these are the sources of unconfined aquifer you can say right so how, from where the water comes in an unconfined aquifer is either precipitated water or the water from the surface body surface water body that is a river or a stream or a lake so which is in hydraulic connection with the aquifer that is called as an unconfined aquifer so i hope you have understood what is unconfined aquifer so uh, the aquifer which is exposed to the atmosphere or it possesses a free surface which is open to the atmosphere that is termed as an unconfined aquifer now let us discuss what is the type of unconfined aquifer that is a perched aquifer so perched aquifer here you can see in the image there is a impermeable layer in an unconfined aquifer there is an impermeable layer of clay 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 is a impermeable material because it is very fine grained right it will not allow the water to percolate very easily so it has low permeable or it is almost impermeable rock or a layer right so it is a special case of unconfined aquifer uh, that is the perched aquifer so that occurs whenever an impervious or a relatively impervious layer of limited horizontal area that is located between the water table and a phreatic aquifer and the ground surface so that is called as the unconfined aquifer so what is that uh, whenever there is a impermeable layer of clay or any other material which is impermeable or impervious and that occurs uh, for a limited horizontal area the it is for a smaller distance or sm it covers a very small area limited horizontal area and it is located between what the water table and the phreatic aquifer Uh, and the ground surface so it occurs in between the water table and the ground surface so that is called as the perched aquifer and if you dig a well in such aquifer here you can see there is a well in the perched aquifer so this is a perched water uh, bodies these are the two perched water bodies and if you dig a well in that it is called as perched aquifer or perched uh, aquifer well right then if you dig a well here you are not getting water and if you dig a well here obviously you will get a water so this is the reason where uh, we need to know what is there inside the ground very perfectly because it is just a few meter distance wherein you have a water in this well and here you don't have water at the same level so that is because it there is a perched aquifer present in that area and if you dig a bore well here in the uh, saturated zone then you will get again the water 
which is a uh, more more yield will you will get but here the yield will be less but water will be present so the water table here the water table of this particular aquifer that is first aquifer is called as perched water table so what is perched water table the water table of the first aquifer that is called as perched water table so this is the type of unconfined aquifer that is perched aquifer okay whenever there is a small or a limited horizontal area of impervious material and if the water is present in it then it is called as the perched aquifer next we'll move on to the second type of aquifer that is confined aquifer so as the word tells you confined means it is held under pressure confining pressure you might have heard right so if the water within then within an aquifer is confined confined meaning here is it is held under pressure by an overlying impervious strata the aquifer is known as confined aquifer so here you can see the gray color portion right that is a confining unit right you can see here there is a perched water table also perched aquifer perched water table well and whatever gray color is that that is what it is a impermeable or impervious material that is confining material you can say that that means what it will not allow the water to percolate down so here you can see the confined aquifer so how it is it is in between the two confining layers you can see this is one confining layer and this is another confining layer so whatever water it is penetrating here or it is getting recharged as a ground water that is straight away coming into uh, in between the two confining units so Uh, this water will be held under pressure so it is called as confined aquifer so what is that if the water within an aquifer is confined that is it is held under pressure uh, by the overlying impervious strata uh, then the aquifer is known as the confined aquifer so the confining bed it has a significantly lower hydraulic conductivity than that of the aquifer so it will have low hydraulic conductivity than the confined aquifer so here you can see what is confined aquifer when the water in an aquifer is held under pressure or it is like a sandwiched between two confining units or two confining layers then that aquifer is called as confined aquifer next the type of confined aquifer is your artesian aquifer again here you can see there is a well right in this confined aquifer this is a confined aquifer this full is a confined aquifer and you can see the topography here there is a slope so the water pressure will be more right water is coming with a high speed and as it moves here the speed will decrease so here if you dig a well in such aquifer you can see here there is a well in this aquifer so that is what it is a flowing artesian well it is called as flowing artesian well so what is the meaning of the word artesian here so if uh, so artesian aquifer is a confined aquifer which is developed in a suitable geological situations where the piezometric surface is above the ground water level where what is that the piezometric surface is above the ground water level 
here you can see this line is called as the piezometric surface where the water is present up to this height you can see here the symbol is given of water table so the actual water table is here up to this height right so whatever is the height of the water up to which the water rises that is called as the piezometric surface so what is that artesian aquifer is it is a confined aquifer because it is present in the confined aquifer it is a confined aquifer developed in suitable geological situations where the piezometric surface is above the ground water level so here you can see this surface in this particular area is above the ground level here this is the ground level and your piezometric surface is above the ground level so uh this type of aquifer is called as artesian aquifer so whenever a well is dug in such aquifer a well in such an aquifer which is flow which flows without pumping there is no need of pumping in such aquifer because water will automatically rise up to the piezometric surface so you might have seen in uh, some videos which were shared on youtube or whatsapp wherein uh, whenever uh, whenever you dig a well in such aquifer the water uh, it will continuously flow without pumping it will come on the surface uh, without pumping because it is held under pressure that is the piezometric uh so whatever is the piezometric surface up to that height the water will flow automatically in such wells without pumping so such aquifers are called as artesian aquifers and a well in such aquifer is called as artesian well so the imaginary surface to which the water rises in the well tapping the artesian aquifer is known as the piezometric surface so this surface up to which the water rises automatically right that is called as this is an imaginary surface so that is called as the piezometric surface so this is the artesian aquifer which is a type of confined aquifer so here also you can see there is one more artesian well but it is not flowing why because this is the piezometric surface right and this well is above the or the opening of this well is above the piezometric surface right but here it is at the bottom so it is uh, just artesian well right and here it is flowing artesian well <coughs> so this is the type of confined aquifer that is artesian aquifer so what we saw is uh, what is an aquifer where which yields sufficient quantity of water that is called as an aquifer there are two types of aquifers one is unconfined and other one is confined so unconfined means the water which is free to the atmosphere free to the surface which is not held under pressure that is called as unconfined aquifer and confined aquifer is where the water is held under the pressure it is like sandwiched between two impermeable layers or confining layers that is called as the uh, confined aquifer then first aquifer is a type of unconfined aquifer wherein a small impermeable lens like body which is present in the unconfined layer that is called as the and which will yield water that is called as the first aquifer and artesian aquifer is the type of confined aquifer wherein uh it is possible only in some geological situations where the piezometric surface is above the ground level that is called as artesian aquifer then there are few terminologies which you must know that is what is an aquitard so here aquitard means what 
first you have understood what is aquifer aquifer is a saturated or a large body of permeable material where ground water is present in the saturated zone then we'll see what is aquitard so aquitard a saturated strata which yields inappreciable quantity of water compared to an aquifer so aquitard in aquitard what will happen the yield will be less compared to an aquifer it is an aquifer but the yield is less compared to an aquifer so a saturated strata saturated means there is a water saturated strata which yields inappreciable quantity of water compared to an aquifer but what happens here through which appreciable leakage of water is possible that is known as aquitard or it is also called as a semi confining layer so this is a aquitard here aquitard where water is present but there is a leakage there is leakage in the aquifer and the yield is less compared to an aquifer so an aquifer underlain by an aquitard that is termed as a leaky or semi confined aquifer so what is a leaky or semi confined aquifer is the aquifer which is underlain okay which is below that okay underlain by an aquitard below an aquitard that is called as a leaky or semi confined aquifer and Uh, the permeability of semi confining layer is usually very small as compared to the permeability of the main aquifer because it is yielding less quantity of water it is less permeable so the yield is also less and uh, the semi confining layer is usually very small okay the permeability is also very small as compared to the main aquifer so that is called as an aquitard then two more terms that is aquiclude and aquifuge so aquiclude is what here you can see in the figure this is an aquiclude so aquiclude is what an aquiclude is a saturated bed formation which yields inappreciable quantity of water and does not permit any leakage okay there is no leakage it will have water but there is no leakage but in aquitard what we saw there is a leakage also there is a water also and there is a leakage also but here in aquiclude there is a saturated formation means there is a water okay which yield inappreciable quantity of water that is very less quantity of water and it will not permit any appreciable leakage it will not uh, leak uh, allow the water to leak downward so there is uh, no leakage an impermeable layer of rock that does not allow the water to move through it so that is called as an aquiclude so some uh, type of shale shale is an example of a sedimentary rock okay so shale is a example which will have such low permeability and that have a very uh, that they effectively form an aquiclude means there will be water but Th- there is no leakage that is called as an aquiclude then what is an aquifuge aquifuge means it is a hard rock or a rock mass or a rock matrix which neither transmit or it will not store the water in significant quantity that is called as an aquifuge aquifuge means what here there is Uh, that is a rock mass or a rock matrix which neither transmit nor stores the water in significant quantity that is called as an aquifuge so these are the very important definitions you must know
Thank you.